Isabella Wimmers, it's always a pleasure to have someone in front of the camera who is actually involved in producing whiskies. And you are. I am. What's your position there? I am blender for Wings Bolts and for Kings Bolts, so that means I do all the maturation. I choose all the casks and then I blend them at the end when they're ready. So I'm responsible for almost everything that's in the bottle. The only thing I don't do is actually distill the spirit. All right. And you told me yesterday that you started out in another profession, which is not far away from whiskey tasting, is it? No, I came into the family business to do our tea side. So I trained as a tea taster, first of all. So that, that training I brought into the whiskey world. It's, okay. it's, it's almost exactly the same skills. Is there a big difference between tea and whiskey in regarding the tasting, the, the, the notes that you get? Uh, you, in tea you get malty flavors, you get citrusy flavors, so there's a lot of the same language. But the me method of tasting is very different, obviously, because tea is um, very hot, so you suck it in and then you spit it out very quickly. You don't savor it like you do with sleep. Okay. So I would be interested in the actual process of doing uh, a blend. Uh, where do you start? Do you start out with a couple of whiskies that you've already chosen? for your project or do you start off with one or two whiskies and mix them together? I start when I buy the whiskey and I put it in cask. So way back then I'm thinking about what I can blend with what and what might come out at the end. But obviously until they're mature I don't quite know how it's going to work so I might have to fiddle around at the end. So my thought process about blending starts many many years before okay. I actually um, start blending. So we mature all our own whiskies. And how long are you doing this uh, right now? For, for how long are you blending whiskies? Me, I started doing it really about six or seven years ago, no, about ten years ago. Okay. And what was the, the main learning you took from, from that for, for your job? Uh, the most difficult thing was learning to do it. Really? I'm hoping that I didn't make a mistake because whiskey is a very expensive mistake if you get it wrong. Is there a chance that you overshoot your target? And what if, if you do, what happens then? Overshoot my target in terms of volume or? Uh, no, in, in, in terms of the taste you want to create. Well, what I do is I have some colleagues in the business who I trust and I work with, and we do it together with me leading the process. So I always have other noses to check what I'm doing because I think that's very important. And talking a little bit about uh, the near future, is there something that will be coming out from you in the in the next few months or so and you can talk about? Uh, well, I can't give you many details, but we have a new King's Barnes continuous release coming out, oh, which is I'm very excited about, very different from what we do currently and very different from most of what other whiskey companies do. So. Great. Isabella, thank you so much for your time. Enjoy your stay here in Nuremberg. Thank you, Bert.